All right, so first thing we need to do is discharge this capacitor. Now, there's what everyone says that you should do, who uh, knows what they're talking about and design these things, and then there's what most technicians do. Most technicians will, uh, will just touch between the terminals on the capacitor with a needle nose pliers or with a screwdriver. This is a screwdriver that I've adapted with a 20,000 ohm resistor, five watt, 20,000 ohm, five watt resistor. And you can see here, this tip is one side of the resistor and this alligator clip is the other side of the resistor. So in order to do things the technically correct way, that's the right way to do it. Um, do most techs in the field do that? No, they don't. Have I always done this my <laughs> career? No, I haven't. <laughs> um, but this is the technically correct way. Now, even when you're working with this though, because you've got an alligator clip, you still have to be careful. In most cases, the capacitor will be discharged because it's allowed to discharge through the windings of the compressor, but there are some rare circumstances where it may still hold a charge. So all you would do is you would just take the one side and you would wire it to the common terminal, which is right here. And then you would touch the, uh, oh, hold on. Say that again. You take the one side and you connect it to the common terminal, which in this is uh, kind of an awkward location. Um, so I'm actually gonna just connect this at the, on the Herm side first. And then I'm going to touch this over to common. That way we know we're fully discharged. And then I'm gonna take this side, hook it to common, and then go to the fan side so we know the fan is fully discharged. Again, most guys would just take a screwdriver and jam it in there. You could potentially get a pretty big arc. 